Welcome back Hot Wheels fans, hope you're keeping safe and well. This time around on Bertie's Wheels, I've got this week's boxes to run through with you. So, as we're all at home, as we're all trawling through eBay as the mad Hot Wheels hunters that we are, I'm sure you, just like me, have been making loads of purchases. So, let's have a little run through, starting with what I've managed to pick up in the way of uh, UK purchase. So. I've got two boxes here. Let's crack open with the first one. As I mentioned, UK purchase. So let's get trusty and crack this one open. Right, here we go. Let's pop this open. And so you can see exactly what's coming out of here at the same time I can. Um, inside of here, I know there's three castings, all of which are Ferrari. And uh, just trying to think, I think one of them I already have, so it will be relisted on eBay. One piece I don't have, and the other piece I do have, but needed replacing, and mainly picked up the bundle because it wasn't too badly priced. 17.50, including postage. So, let's take a little look inside of our first little lot that we've got here. Right, all the packaging, and let's get rid of the box. Okay, nicely done, nicely done. just to keep it safe and secure and my hair is long but it ain't that long oh, there we go right here we go one two three so first out there we go Top one right there is the one that I picked up the bundle for, as I mentioned in previous kind of Ferrari video that I had done, my one's a little bit battered, so time to get a fresh one and get it all nice and neat to go within the collection. So we're gonna be cracking that little one open. Next up, it's gonna be this one here. So we've got a 575 GTC. This one here on Chrome 10 spokes. Comes with a kind of Hot Wheels livery through there. Quite nice across the bonnet, actually. Made a nice job of that one there. But Hot Wheels livery, unfortunately, isn't getting into my collection. So that one is going to be listed for sale. The other one that came within the bundle. Oh, yes. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So I picked up another one of these engine revealers here. So in the blue this time here. OH5s in gold, little Hot Wheels livery on the side there, but makes up for it with that beautiful Ferrari script detailing across the rear spoiler. What a pretty blue paintwork on that one there. Looking forward to getting that one out of the pack. So, two to crack open, let's not delay. Which to do? Which to do? We're gonna do five one. I think we should do. Let's do the engine revealer first and foremost. Just to remind yourselves, I have pulled out in copper the number eight on the side, and also this one here. Actually, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call that one orange and that one copper. Or should I do it the other way around? Well, I can't make up my mind. But um, anyway. Both quite similar in colour, number four, number eight, and we're now going to add number six to it, so let's not delay. Sorry, carded collectors, especially you short carded collectors out there. You'll be great, yes, with me, but I've said it before, I'll say it again, it's my collection. Right, there we go. Oh, that is pretty. That's a really, really nice royal blue paintwork on that one there. Beautifully done. A nice little... Ferrari scripts across the back and a little bit notchy but there we go that engine reveal so engine in chrome interior in chrome <clears throat> we also have clear plastic for the windshields on that one there metal hood we're gonna call it across the back there chrome base across the bottom 
And as I say, that beautiful, beautiful blue paintwork. Great detailing across the top here. The kind of uh, door entrance detailing, these little kind of um, uh, petrol cab, and the air intake at the front there. Very, very pretty. Nicely done. As I say, just a bit of a bonus to the actual lot itself. I was mainly picking it up for the 250, so this is just a little Brucey bonus to go along with it. Oh, there we go, one, two, and three in the engine revealers. Let's take a little look at those going around side by side. Okay, here we go. Main event for this box here, 250 LM in yellow. And as we saw, this week's box is probably going back about a month or so, six weeks ago maybe. Red one that I picked up and the original in silver. This is one of my very, very first Ferrari purchases that I did over eBay. So that one there with the 21 and the Chrome 10 spokes. Beautiful, really, really pretty. 21 on the lace and 21 on a lace in yellow. So let's crack this one open. And there we go. 21 in yellow. Again, look at that. What a peach. What an absolute peach. It's one of the prettiest castings Hot Wheels have done, in my opinion. Through the front, you've got detailings for the front hood, 21 across the front there. We've got the um, not scudery shields on there. That'll just be a kind of cavallino that's on the side. All this detailing for the, the boots, the trunk, this engine cover that comes away here, even down to the little ported detailing across, across there to give you some air intakes as well. That is an absolute peach. Look at that through the rear. Little light detailings, not much in the way of tempos, but it is super, super pretty. So yellow, red, and the silver. Let's take a little look at those going around side by side. This one here I'm super super chuffed with. Uh, I'm sure you've all been trailing eBay trying to check out the um, current Boulevard set that's just been released. So there'll be a few bits and pieces obviously that are in there, particularly if you're uh, American or JDM fan or something like that. But over here the only two models that are important to me are obviously the Porsche 356 Emery and the other one that's in the lot which is can you see it there? We've got Koenigsegg in the box. And again, not a bad little price at all, 12 99 I'm sure if you're in America, you'll probably laugh your backside off at, at that particular price, but over here, delivered less than 21 pounds. So not bad at all. I know some of the people that have been um, kind of bundle purchasing from the States and have done a group buy on some of these Koenigseggs. I've seen them going for about 30, 35 pounds on eBay. So, I didn't do too bad at all and this one was super speedy to turn up it was literally ordered on the 22nd uh today is the 30th so coming through from the states i think that's pretty darn good pretty darn good so let's get this cracked open 
and take a little look. Oh, only got through the first layer by the looks of things, so let's give that a deeper slice on there. There we go. Look at that little cage, right? So let's get that out of the way and take a little look at this one here. Yeah, definitely one of the, the key kind of pieces or re releases from Hot Wheels over the last couple of years, from what I've seen, that's for sure. But in white, doesn't it look sharp? Little red detailing that runs around there as well. So you know I like to display mine loose, so let's not delay. Let's give this one a little delicate tease open and show you the model in a little bit of closer depth. I'm sure I'll probably end up picking up another one of these carded at some point, but it's too good to keep inside of the card at this point in time. So let's just piece yep there we go all open Ooh, an absolute peach right first and foremost once we've got it here look at the artwork look at the artwork on that really nicely done really attractive packaging for it and a really good likeness to the car itself very often you can kind of see uh, when you see them first up, the, the artwork and the car really don't marry off as, as well as they should do. But this is looking pristine, absolutely pristine. So right, here we go. Let's get that out of the way and take a little look at the model in detail itself. So, metal base, real riders, beautiful kind of black six spoke real riders on this one here. When you look down through the side, it's got some great detail into it. Really, really great detailing down through the side. As you can see, you've got the, the kind of red strip detail that runs around that black panel. You've even got some little branding detailing down on the side. I'm gonna need to get a little bit closer to that to see it firsthand. I think that's probably a Gera R on the side there. Again, little black detailing through the side. The, the I think it's dihextral di uh, di uh, doors that kind of flip and twist up. Please give me a comment down below for the correct pronunciation on that one there. What is that there across the front of mine? Oh, that's, that's not great, is it? That's not great at all. Look, little slight defect to my paint, which isn't fantastic, but Bear in mind that it's going to be from that side there. I'm not, I'm not overly fussed. I'm not overly fussed. Right, heading down towards the front, as I say, we've got these beautifully done light tempos on the front. The red flicker detail that runs um, through the stripe and also included around the uh, air release detailing for the um, wheel tubs as well. But yeah, really, really pretty casting. Look at that front splitter pulled through from the metal base, little cutout detailings across the front there, the little Koenigsegg badge, even down to uh, Koenigsegg scripts writing above that little air intake detail there as well. So again, heading around to the side, as I mentioned, just beautiful tempos, really, really nice tempos through the side. Also the wing mirrors are there, heading down towards the back, plastic rear spoiler, Beautifully filled in light tempos for the for the lights and turn signals at the back. Then again, heading down towards the bottom, we've got metal base pull through for the diffuser. Then off of the metal uh, bodywork itself, you've got a little space for the license plate and also for the exhaust as well. Let's head up towards the roof. Look at that. So yeah, we've got the Ghost Squadron logo across the rear deck lid. Yeah, it's looking really nice. and this that's a beautiful little detail so extending from the um, plastic glass work that's for the canopy itself you've got this kind of uh, roof detailing across the top there as well wow what a little pretty model that is 
and definitely one of the key pieces to be releases released over the last last kind of couple of months that's for sure and a must have for most of us die hard hot wheels collectors so yes there we go this week's boxes people what an absolute peach absolute peach let's take a little look at this one down on the turntable just before we sign out Okay, hope you enjoyed this week's boxes, people. Keep your eyes peeled. There's plenty more to come. Until the next ones.